Hello. I was going to do a, my very first unboxing today, but uh, I'm going to do a semi unboxing because this this thing was so so difficult to open up. <laughs> I thought I'll be ten minutes into the video before I even show you what was inside the box. So there we go. So we'll open this up and uh, see what's inside. Don't need to, me to tell you what this is, I'm sure it's George Harrison, 50th anniversary, all things must pass, 3 LP version. Uh, really didn't know where to jump in with this one. Uh, so much choice and to be quite honest I thought the CD, uh, the CD options weren't too clever, the boxes are quite small and uh, I thought at the end of the day, what do, what do I really want? And uh, I just want the three albums, really, the three original albums. And uh, so I, I went for that one. I didn't want the eight. I think there's an eight album version. Uh, so you've got the normal three albums plus I don't know. I know it's eight albums. I've got them. But there's so there's a few albums of outtakes that really didn't appeal to me too much, even though. It's fantastic to hear outtakes and uh, early early takes, early early uh, versions. But my experience is over the years, don't tend to listen to things like that. I remember back in the seventies, eighties, I used to buy Hunt Down Beatles bootlegs. First listen, wow, this is great! Never heard this Beatles song before, and then didn't really play it after that one. It was very rarely played the bootlegs. But I still, I still went out and collected as many as I possibly could. I still got quite a few. But, so I was using that logic with uh, with the outtakes. Thought, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be playing these too much. I know I'll be playing this one. So that's what I've decided to do. <coughs> and also, the price of this one I thought wasn't too bad compared with the others. I pre-ordered this one about two weeks ago, and I think. On Amazon it was £65 and then it came yesterday and uh, I also got an email in the morning to say there was a price drop so I ended up paying £56, £56 pounds for this so I got another £8 pounds off really off the pre-order price so I felt as though that sort of price £50 to £60 pounds for the three album set wasn't too bad it was more or less the right price. Maybe it could have it could have been fifty. I don't know, but I'm happy with fifty five anyway, fifty six. So uh, so there we go. But what I also decided to do, I mean I was pouring over the website, georgeharrison.com, Amazon, I thought what what am I gonna buy? I really didn't want to I didn't really want to know at first. Or I didn't I didn't know what I wanted at first. So so much choice and think well do I pick that one or this one and then regret having this one because I wanted that one and you've got to spend more money to get what you want. So I thought, now I'm going to stick with the three album version and then I'm going to just download the rest of the tracks, you know, the uh, the, out track, the outtakes. I'm just going to download a sample of those, maybe not all of them, maybe, maybe all of them, maybe not. I'll just go through and see which uh, appeals to me the most and then make a little CD up on my own and... There you go. Uh, that's all I need to do for myself. You know, I mean, everybody's got their own opinions and I respect all those opinions. And whatever you want to jump in, if you want to jump in with £850 with the Uber box, that's fine. I even consider that one, to be, fa to be fair. But when you think about it, that's just, it's, it's too much money. You know, I, I've got so much, so much to do with I can do so much of that sort of money. It's, no, it's not really worth it. But it's great. I mean, if you own the Uber, Uber set, you know, it must be brilliant. I, I just love to have that here now. You know, it'd be great to see someone, see somebody in person and go through and have a look through everything. But uh, now I decided with the three album boxes, that's, that's the album I liked. That is a tremendous album, More Things Must Pass. Possibly the best solo Beatle album. Uh, it's either that one or... Get, or uh, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band. So, depending on what day of the week it is, I sometimes pick John's, sometimes pick George's. Now, I did buy uh, 
the Plastic Owner Band CD edition. Uh, paid about eighty pounds for that. Wasn't too bad. Uh, got a, got a hardback book and uh, plenty of CDs. I felt that was worth the money. So uh, I think they've slipped up a bit with this one. I think the product's really good, or the music's really good, or what you know what they're offering as music. But the packaging really wants. Uh, should have been thought a bit more deeply. Maybe maybe they should have talked to fans, you know, because people like Danny and Olivia, maybe they're too disconnected from the product. I don't know, or too connected, I don't know. But talk to the fans. They'll tell you exactly what they want. They may have done that, I don't know. But uh, certainly we wanted the, C the CD box uh, to be bigger, at least, you know. It's, it was, you know just a little bit bigger than CD so it was quite expensive you know maybe the, the CD box set was fine just charge less money you know 80 quid that'll do me you know but uh, like I say I'm going with that one and then I'm also going to download uh, the outtakes I've had a, I've had a listen through uh, on Spotify I've listened to the main album it sounds great it sounds really really good I haven't listened to every single track all the way through I've had a good a good, a good listen to uh, at least half of the, each individual tracks and it does sound pretty good you know just wish George was still here to uh, to uh, listen to the results I know it was a big thing of his to get rid of all the reverb and what have you and all the noise so I shall still play the first album the first issue the one I've had for 50 odd years that is still my go-to I've, I've had all the All Things Must Pass, CD, what have you, but I will always go to the very first original LP version. That's the go-to. Same with the Beatles, same with anybody. Abbey Road, UK, 1969, go-to. Same with the White Albums, 1968, Apple Records, UK, that's the one. As, as much as I enjoy listening to uh, remastered copies, the original ones for me are the best. What's more, every single note, every single noise on each song is in here. My brain is programmed to detect the slightest sound on any of those albums. So you get a remaster and then that sound doesn't pop up. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> but it's still interesting, it's still it's another version. So. Uh, I'm wandering off the track now, I'm wandering off the uh, subject, uh, so probably this will be a good time to uh, say bye bye and uh, I hope whatever George Harrison All Things Must Pass you may get, you're quite happy with it and uh, let me know which one you bought. Okay, and bye for now, cheers.